you bring your colleague with you, the Satanist one. I'm glad you're sitting in. So I got both of you today. I didn't do the beads. I didn't put them on the wall, on the door. It wasn't me. I see that they're gone now. The beekeeper took them away. I would have made them disappear if they were nice to me. Anyway, what should we talk about today? Let me tell you a story. Are you up for a story? You should be interested, you're a Satanist. About a demon. starts like this. There's this lady, well, when she was younger she used to play the Ouija board and um, never took it seriously. And she opened a doorway and spirits come through. But this particular demon came through and he calls himself Captain John. Captain John Huey. Wow. When her mother found out that she was using the Ouija board, he took it off her and put it away and wouldn't let her use it again, which made the spirit angry. And she refused to talk to the spirit. She also had her house full of mirrors. So it was a portal. There were many spirits coming in and out of the mirrors, you know, and that was just the way it was. The house was haunted. They had the house exercised. get rid of all the spirits, even the demon. But he found a way back in. You see, she all grew up and got married and had a daughter. Her daughter grew up into her teens and she started playing the Ouija board. She found it in a cupboard. And then she was punished by her mother for doing so. But she wanted to talk to the Ouija board. She wanted to talk to the demon. But she got punished. Her mother put the Ouija board away and said, you can't, you know, talk to anybody, any of the dead. Her mother was quite cruel. She was very strict. There was no love in that family. It attracted the demon. He waited. He wanted to possess her daughter. He wanted a vessel. But in the end, he couldn't. She wouldn't let him in. Anyway, she grew up and got married and she had a daughter. This is a granddaughter now of the original. And She found the Ouija board when she became in her teens, she grew up into her teens. She found the Ouija board and she started to play it. And the demon actually got in, he possessed her. She was possessed. And they had to perform an exorcism. But he was clever. He was able to appear as an apparition, as a human. She could see him. I mean, they'd be sitting there eating spaghetti bolognese and he'd turn them into worms. He'd punish them if he couldn't get what he wanted. In the end, he's possessed a daughter 
managed to kill the grandmother because she was wicked and cruel anyway and she was against demons and spirits she turned on them she betrayed that's the right word so she was punished with her losing her life the demon wanted to possess the mother of the daughter of the granddaughter so through the exorcism she got weak and give in said he can go into her and he did he went from the her daughter to her but the problem was she was stuck with him <laughs> he wanted a vessel you see he wanted to be all demon not like me half demon half human he wanted to be all demon and the only way to do that put in a human body as a human form He'd have to go inside a vessel, a human. So that's what he did. He was in her, the mother. And then she had to be exercised. Turns out he went to somebody else randomly while he waits to come back again. Captain Johnny called himself, it's not his real name, he's obviously a demon, not a demon name, but he called himself Captain John. He always came through the Ouija board. It's a doorway. With all the mirrors, they were coming in and out, the spirits all the time in that house. It was haunted. They scared the living daylights of the living, so they can gather their energy, absorb it. just a story, not real. Could have been, but it is just a story. You see? Nobody believed them, you see. She could see the demon, but they didn't believe her. The daughter could see it. Yeah, she was free of him. But the mother had it. That's who he really wanted, was to be in her. Took revenge on the grandmother, which was her mother, because she was against him. She betrayed. She opened the doorway and then betrayed. Got a priest and tried to exorcise the whole house. Pulled exorcisms on her and her daughter. Then eventually the granddaughter. <laughs> still out there. Still out there. Possessing someone's body. That's what he wants. He was very powerful. He could do many things. And he would punish anybody who gets in their way. He'd even break their legs. Cause them to have terrible accidents. He'd make sure he gets what he wants. story anyway. Captain John Huey. I got many stories about demons. Some are true, some are not. It's up to you to decide. Do you have a puzzle for me?